Hello! As a part two for the unboxing slash reaction video that I did for the fursuit parts that I just recently got in from Pocket Wolf Shop. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, We're gonna be taking a more in-depth look on the parts individually and sort of their construction and stuff that I love about them. Last month on March 16th, I ordered a tail, some hand hoofs and some feet hoofs from Pocket Wolf Shop on Etsy. I received them on April 16th, so it took exactly a month for them to get here. Pretty good turnaround time. And I was very surprised at how small the box was. I was expecting it to be big, but no, it was very well packaged. First, we're gonna start off taking a look at the tail. I'm gonna refer to Pocket Wolf Shop as Ashes Wolf, as that is, I believe, what she actually goes by. So I had actually sent her a message about the fur color that I wanted on the tail because I wanted the tail to be the same color as the darker tannish color on Ike's head and then for the bottom to be white. She ended up asking me for the exact fur color that was used and so I was able to talk to Gratis and get the actual fur color that we used for the head so she could match it up perfectly and I believe that she did. It's a longer fur and there are spots on it which I love. There's like almost nothing cuter than a spotted deer. Overall the quality is quite good. The seams feel amazing. The only place where I feel some bumpy on the tail is where there's a zipper sort of on the bottom but overall it feels wonderfully made i love that she has her own little pocket wolf ribbon on it's not just on the tail i found out but it's also on the hooves and the feet hooves as well if you're not familiar with wearing one of these tails you do use belt loops so you'll use this elastic loop on one side then you'll go through the center belt loop that you have on your belt on some jeans for example and then go through the second belt loop and then once you tighten that belt it'll be nice and snug up against you and you'll have a freaking tail i love wearing it and as far as like partial pieces go this is the one piece that i feel like you could wear just by itself with normal clothes everywhere and it would look great i think it's so fitting and i love wearing that tail i would wear it to the grocery store if i could but that's a little past the awkward point for me. All right, next we're gonna take a look at the hooves or specifically the hand hooves. They're very easy to put on and to wear for a long time. I don't think they're actually lined on the inside, but they do feel comfortable. On the actual digits themselves, where the, you know, the actual hooves are, they have like this silky feeling puff inside of them. And what that's really doing is it's making it so the fabric isn't just like this empty shell of fabric with some fingers in it. So it gives the hoof some actual physical structure so it looks puffy and realistic. I'm not sure if there's a proper way of wearing them, but I actually tried to put my fingers on the front side of that puffy thing, because what I'm trying to do is give myself better mobility and better grippiness. I can turn doorknobs, I could probably carry some stuff for someone too. I can't do like really tiny tasks like scrolling through my phone or whatever, but there's inherent limitations with wearing any kind of gloves anyway, so that was obviously not something I was expecting to do, but I was pleasantly surprised at how easy it was to move around and pick stuff up with them. There are some small inconsistencies with the shapes of some of the digits. So like on one of them, there's almost like this extra vertice on the thumb and you don't see that on the other one and it maybe looks at a little bit abnormal. But in general, the seam quality and the sewing is quite good on them. I might wanna do some research and see if I should maybe shave down the front sides of some of them and see if that might look more anatomically correct or more just like what I was kind of going for in my head. In general, really happy with them, super surprised by the mobility with them and they're fun to wear. Last, as far as the individual pieces go, we're gonna take a look at the feet hooves. I'm just gonna put a disclaimer that I don't have a brush yet. So you'll see that the fur looks kind of like mangled towards the top. That's because I'm an idiot. That has nothing to do with the quality of the fur. I just, I need to buy a freaking brush. I wanna take a look at the construction of these feet hooves because I think it's kind of interesting. So on the top, there is a liner with the fur. It's the synthetic, it's either like a silk or a polyester, I think, that helps cover that part that will be touching your ankle and calf. I was putting my hand on the inside of the hoofs and what it feels like is going on is that there's a slipper on the inside. And so the overall construction is based around that slipper. And then there's the actual hoof digits as well on the front that are constructed around that. And that seems like some foam, obviously fabric, maybe some filling. And then there's also the white fur around it that feels like it might have some either soft foam or filling around that as well. All of that is standing on this pad that we have at the bottom. These are outdoor hooves, so that's why that's there. So it's really cool. And they feel pretty much just like wearing any other shoes. I mean, if you put them next to normal shoes, obviously they're gonna look ridiculously big, but they feel very wearable for several hours if you want to. And this, the slippers just make them feel like cozy slippers essentially, which is great. She recommends sizing down with them. So also just for your information, I usually wear like a 10 and a half to an 11 size shoe 
shoe. And for the hooves, for her sizing, I picked the nine through 10 and they fit perfectly. They're like the tiniest bit snug, but I would much rather have that than have these things that feel gargantuan because they're already big enough. A small critique similar to the other hooves, there's just some, some shape inconsistencies from one to the other. I noticed on one, there's kind of like these creases a little bit on the inside of the hoof. So not really a part that people are gonna be looking at all that often. But then if you look at the other hoof, you don't see that same thing and it looks a little more consistent all around. And then the other thing I noticed is that instead of being super pointed for each of the hooves, on one of them, it looks like it's got more of like a flat edge to it. And then the other side is more of like a point. Again, that's me being like more critical than normal. That's not, that has nothing to do with how happy I am with them. Just something I wanted to point out. Overall, super happy with them. They're soft, cozy hoof slippers at the end of the day. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and try him back on and take a look at what, we, what kind of results we have when we have a little bit thicker jeans on and then another flannel. All right, so since last time, uh, I only had some skinny jeans. I was able to procure some slightly bigger jeans that I haven't worn in a very long time, but these are a little more baggy. It should help with the illusion as well as I do have another flannel. Yeah, so let's go ahead and start. I think these jeans look way better than what I was doing before. I hope you enjoyed some of those sick dance moves. That's about it for this more in-depth look at these fursuit parts. I hope you found this video helpful if you're looking at maybe buying some fursuit parts on Etsy. There's a lot of different options out there, so I would definitely recommend looking for someone who you feel like suits your needs best. And I will say I am very, very happy with the kind of work that Ash has provided for me. And now my character is brought to life and he looks amazing. She did an incredible job. 10 out of 10, I would highly recommend her, especially when you consider the bang for buck factor. Thank you so much, Ashes, for bringing Ike the Reindeer to life. I can't thank you enough. I have been Renard, and thank you so much for watching. Bye. Yay.